to The Guardian newspaper, the average woman will use 11,000 tampons in her lifetime. Now, it doesn't make sense to keep using these products when sustainable alternatives are so readily available. And that's why we have Elizabeth Chapman from the Sustainable Period Project joining us today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. No worries. I'm very, I'm very interested. So you, um, at the Sustainable Period Project, have these boxes. These, what are they called? They're called a Sustainable Period Project Kit. Awesome. And they've got some products in here and I just wanted uh, to see, well, for you to kind of explain what some of the sustainable alternatives are because I think a lot of women just aren't aware. That's right. Um, so we have... Oh, what hold do we on, have? hold on. What's this thing? So <laughs> what we have in this kit, this is a kit which we've designed to... Um, I'm from Lunette Australia and these are... We are the national distributors for menstrual cups. And what we did is we realised that a lot of people don't know what menstrual cups are or, yeah. or what sustainable options are around. We thought, how can we get the education out to the schools? So we just collaborated with a lot of other sustainable period companies. We put together this kit and we're sending them out um, to every high school across Australia and New Zealand so that we can um, educate children and teachers as well. That is so, so okay, first thing, this one, educate, this is... A cloth pad. It's reusable. It clips around the knickers that way. Uh -huh. Ah! Uh -huh. Okay. They come in different colours. <laughs> Looks like my kids. Reusable nappy. <laughs> and, you know, made from the same types of fabrics as well. Similar function. I, See, okay. I bought one of those and, I ha look, I'll be really honest, it grossed me out. I just uh -huh. couldn't bring myself to it's use it. Thing. No, yep. I couldn't. And it's the same with the undies that are out now as well. Oh, funny you should mention that. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, tell me more about cheap. them because I'm yeah. interested but I'm frightened. Okay, <laughs> yeah, and often that's that can be often because we don't really understand them or what yeah. they do. So these can hold up to one or two tampons worth of fluid mm. and they're really wonderful, especially for the, like, the younger children who it's all, you know, it can be a little bit confronting when so, it happens. So they don't wear a pad or anything, no, they just they wear it those? Has, yep. No, it has huh. like a, a couple of layers lining in the middle, so it's ah. quite thick. And you can wear them on for a day at school, take them home, just rinse it under the tap, pop wow. it in the wash. I think smell. that's the bit no, that they don't. They the have, washing. Yeah, they have the yeah. odour wicking, odor wicking um, oh, cool. materials in there as well. So just go in a cold wash with every Everything else, no fabric softener and just air dry in the sun. That's awesome. Also wow. great for um, bladder leaks as well. Yep, Coffins I'm there. Come <laughs> 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 they're becoming more designs. popular, aren't they? They really yeah. are, and they're now in swimwear as well. So. Oh, wow. Really? Yes. That know, is a game changer. Man alive. <laughs> and, and then there's yep. this one. So this is a biodegradable pad. So you normal, sorry, you normal, you regular disposable pads. They'll take about 500 years in landfill to um, biodegrade or oh, decompose. Boy. These take about um, about 12 months. Oh, so they're wow. really good alternative. If you still want to have the more traditional things that we're used to, these are really good too. Mm. So, and, and, we, and we've got this yes, entirely yeah. looking thing that this I'm is fiddling yeah, with. <laughs> cups. This okay. scares me, honestly. Yeah. They, they, yeah. 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 <laughs> Definitely a head thing. It's something yeah. you really got to get your head around yeah. it. So unlike a tampon, these collect fluid. They don't absorb it. So it leaves all of your natural lubrication, everything beautifully intact. So to use it, you fold it. There's lots of different folds. That's mm. a C-shaped fold. To make it really small, you can, it's called a punch-down fold. Oh, this oh. isn't my favourite one. But you can make it, like, quite narrow, so it's almost like the size of a tampon. Right. So you fold it. Just insert the rim only. Are you all mm. following along? Yeah, no. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've you, started you using it. these yeah. and I've, I, the more I use it, the more I'm a fan of it. It will take... Yeah. You've got to lay yourself a good two to three cycles to yeah. get used to it. But that's what I've done yeah. wrong. I've only, only tried once and I yeah. gave it. Yeah, tried one <laughs> yeah, it's, But yeah. honestly, if you use one and give yourself two to three cycles to get used to it, mm. it's going to cost a similar amount to two or three months' worth of disposable. So if you decide after that that it's not for you, that's OK. You've given it a good go. Mm. Okay. I'm not so, a tampon person, <laughs> so is this going to be harder for someone who, you know... It, again, it's it's a head thing and mm. you just got to practice, really. Um, but in saying that, tampons, you pop one in and you pull it out, it leaves you quite dry because it, yeah. take, yeah. it yeah. absorbs everything. Yeah. These it's surprisingly slip in quite well. So yeah. I look at the size of that and I go... You go, no oh, way. Oh, no way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> but surprisingly, it does fit in. So it fits in. You can leave it in for up to 12 hours. 12 so hours? Really? Twice as much as a tampon. You can sleep oh, in it, do you can, oh, That was a question I was going to ask. Can you sleep you in it? You can sleep in it, do yoga, skydive, huh. whatever you like. Skydive. So, so yeah. why do not women not use this more? Because uh, think... Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> It's but frightening, it's, I think. And as you said, it's a, it's a head yeah. thing, isn't it? But even, yeah. like, you know, cloth uh, pads and, and these alternatives yeah. and things like that. So what, what was your sort of vision behind this, I suppose? So our vision behind this was that 
when we first started um, with menstrual cups uh, about 11 years ago, we found that most people were like, what is that? Oh, yeah. like, they've never heard of it mm. before. And then when people get used to it, they're like, why didn't I hear about yeah. it earlier? So we thought, well, let's get this out to school so that when people learn about, you know, your pads and tampons, they can get all of the information about all of the products which are out there, then it becomes a very natural thing. Normal. It's normalised yep. yeah. periods mm. and it makes it positive. Because for about me, it. you know, brought up in that generation yes. where we never talked about that's these all, things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at it going, whoa. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. See, now we talk about it, we yeah. discuss which colour would you like. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many yeah. options with it. I'd like a purple one. <laughs> yeah, purple for today and then we'll see which outfit next week. <laughs> And of course, yeah. it's fantastic for the environment as well. And I think that's a major concern that a lot of people have at the moment. Yes. Um, so yeah, so many benefits. And thank you so much for joining us today. We that's do have to wrap up there. Absolute pleasure. That's okay. Um, but if we want to get our hands on one, where do we go? So go to our website www.sustainableperiodproject.org, awesome. and you can go online and order a kit for your high school. And schools can oh, get them. Yeah, fantastic. yeah, I love that. Love it. Schools, and it's free. Yeah. Free. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much Thank for joining you so us. Much. Thank well, you. if you've enjoyed today's show, then make sure you check us up on our social media and on our website. Thank you so much for being here and we will see you next time. Goodbye and God bless.